Hey, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. For those of you that are new, I'm Tanya, and this is a channel about decorating, thrifting, going to estate sales, um, antique stores, all kind of things. Luna May, who likes to pop into some of the videos. Um, but anyway, if you're just stopping by, thank you so much to all my subscribers. Thank you for tuning in. I hope that you all are doing great. So this morning we got up bright and early to go to two estate sales. Um, the first one, the second one that I wanted to go to that started at 10 o'clock had a lot of milk glass. So Greg was wanting to go to that one. The one I wanted to go to started an hour before. So that kind of worked out great. We got to the estate sale that I wanted to go to an hour before it started. And we were about 20, between 25 and 30. There may have been like, you know, 25, 28, something like that, people in front of us. Um, it was so hot, we were sweating bullets. I'm gonna insert just a little video of the people in front of us in the cute little house, super cute little house tiny little house. It did have three levels, a basement, main floor, and a um, upstairs. It had two detached garages that were packed full, and there was a van in the backyard that was packed full of NASCAR stuff. So, this was a small house. I'm not good with feet and distance and inches and all that. Um, my house is about 1,900 square feet, and it was smaller than my house. Um, they let all of us in at one time. You could not move. I wanted to video, but as soon as I saw the size of the house, I knew I wouldn't be able to. Couldn't take pictures, couldn't do anything. Stopped apologizing for bumping into people because that's all you were doing was bumping into people. You know, just could not move. I don't see how they even ate in their kitchen by the time they had a table in there. And it was just... You could not move. Now, I know it's different when there's just, you know, one or two people versus, you know, I don't know, 50 in a tiny house, but it was so overwhelming. There was one main thing that I was hoping to leave with, and of course, I did not get it. I wanted one. They had two of the American Ace coffee tin cans, and I didn't get either one of them, but a gentleman that worked there did tell me that they had had a pre-sale, so I know that that went on their pre-sale because everybody was talking around me that that's one of the things they were going to get. Um, and then there were a couple other things that I forgot to even look for because it was just so overwhelming. I, I can't pull out enough adjectives to get across to you how chaotic this sale was. Um, but more vintage things than any antique mall I've ever even been to. It was amazing sale. For the most part, they had really good prices and it was the first day. This is a four day sale. Um, I wanna sneak over on the last day just to kind of see what's left um, and see if there's anything that maybe I forgot to look for. There's a painting that I wanted. It'd be awesome if it was still there. But anyway, let's get into the hall. I did get a few things and somebody's grabbing what, um, what's on top, and this was what was from the first estate sale. So, since I didn't get that coffee tin, I did grab um, this Folgers old coffee tin, and it has the sailboat on it. Now, the reason I wanted this, the main reason I wanted that Americana Ace one is it had a pilot on it, um, but I wanna use this for the 4th of July and have some American flags coming out. So, you won't see this styled until um, next summer, but I thought that would be super cute on the coffee bar with some American flags. And then the second thing I got was this log cabin syrup container. Um, I had two, but there was a young man in front of me that had wanted to get one and he didn't grab one. So I gave him one of mine because I didn't need two, but I'm wanting to use this, uh, around in my kitchen for Christmas. So I thought that would be really cute. And I think this was only like $4. The Folgers can was 10. Um, and that was a lot to pay, but I was so bummed out about not getting the other one that I just grabbed it because I thought that it would still work for what I wanted. Um, to be very honest though, I probably would not have been able to afford that American Ace or not, not afford it, but just wouldn't have chose to purchase. I'm sure it was probably 
around $30 at least. I saw a Uncle Ben's rice tin that was $25. So, um, it probably would have been a lot more. So then along the lines of 10, I saw this out in one of the garages and I had to get it. It is the Betsy Ross um, tea and I loved it. So, you know, especially with my Liberty Blue, I won't be placing this with my Liberty Blue, but I'm gonna pull this out for next 4th of July. So excited. And this was $3. Um, so, you know, anything Americana is usually kind of pricey. So I was very happy to get this for $3. Then, um, I honestly don't know why I grabbed this. Y'all, I don't know if any of you go to estate sales. If you don't go to estate sales, the best way that I can describe it is it's just like a frenzy. And I mean, I was just grabbing stuff because everybody was just grabbing around you, behind you, in front of you, over you. Um, and it was, and I'm not like that. I'm not like that at all. Estate sales, but this sale just, I'm still a little speechless at the amount of stuff, the amount of vintage stuff. Um, so I thought this would be really cute to pull out for Valentine's day. There is, okay. It was 1982. So it is vintage, but, um, this little Hershey kisses, what is it? milk chocolate little tin. I thought that would be super cute to put in a vignette for Valentine's Day. So you won't see this until February. All right, then um, I grabbed this. This was, I think this was in one of the garages. Maybe, may have been in the basement. I don't know, there was stuff everywhere. But it is a Golden Shield baking powder can. I thought that would be really cute to set out with fall. It's got, you know, the fall colors, the golden color. So that was really cute. I was um, tickled to get that. I think I just honestly grabbed it because there was this guy that was just like putting everything in a bag. <laughs> and sometimes I get a little like, well, you're not getting it all. And I just reached, you know, and got one. Um, same with this. Uh, I actually have this in a very simple, well, mine is a plastic lid, but I just picked up a um, Clabber Girl baking powder. It's all rusty and crusty, so um, that'll be another cute one to display for the 4th of July. I may put it out a little bit sooner, but anyway, I think that has me, I'm pretty good on rusty old tin cans now. Okay, then, you know, I've gotten really into old antique photographs. Um, and so, especially with the horse themes. Now, I probably won't put these two portraits out until fall, but I did grab this. It's two ladies riding horses. So, you know, my, like I had said before, my daughter rides horses, so I'm trying to, and I like horses, but I think for the fall, it'll be really pretty to kind of have some um, horse vignettes. And I thought these were just really cool photographs. So we grabbed those. And then I was so tickled to get, it's a farmer's horse owners and poultry razors, practical handbook. And let's see, when is it published? Let me see if there's a year. Okay. So the year is 1886. So I grabbed this little handbook. Um, it will go in some little vignette with the horses. And it was like two or three dollars, not much at all. And then I was so excited. They put the price tag on the front and that's kind of frustrating. But now I live in Tennessee, but this is Maine Farmers Almanac, Almanac, Almanac. Here we go with the phonics again. And it is from 1910. I was very excited to get all of these little antique pieces at very affordable fair prices. Now these people were either amazing collectors, like they didn't halfway do anything, or they at some point had an antique booth. And I'm leaning towards the fact that they may have had an antique booth because they had display type pieces, cabinets and racks and things in their house. but. One thing that they had in their basement, a whole entire section of their basement, was 
just devoted to um, not only the walls with floor to ceiling shelving, but tables and crates and boxes and you name it. And they had a garage that was completely devoted to this. But they had more bottles, glass bottles, than I've ever even seen in a store. So I picked up the two Pepsi ones for the 4th of July last weekend. So this weekend I got a, or it's not weekend, is it? I got a um, co um, Pepsi Cola. They did not have any red, white, and blue Pepsis. But then my husband lives off Dr. Pepper, so I had to pick up Dr. Pepper. So both of these will be cute with the red, white, and blue Pepsis for the 4th of July. Um, they had, these were a dollar, a dollar a piece on the first day. Um, these, I've seen these go anywhere from five to eight dollars a piece in antique shops. So I was tickled to get those for such an affordable price. If I had to guess and say a number of bottles, and this includes not only soda bottles, but alcohol bottles, um, bottles that like six packs that still had the soda in it whatever flavor they had all kinds of flavors i would be willing to say there was about 2500 to 3000 bottles um and the majority of what they had was coke coca-cola um and and not only bottles but signs and clocks and coke crates and i mean just um, I, I, I just, I can't even find the words to describe the amount of Coca-Cola products, glasses, bowls, plates. I mean, just unreal. So I knew that these were going to be affordable because there was too many of them for them to price them high because they're going to want to get rid of them. So they will probably be like a quarter if there's any left on the 75% off day. If they, they're going to have to do a 75, I don't think that just a 50% off day would cut it and it's a four day sale. So anyway, I did grab this and it was a little more than I probably should have paid. I've been looking at these in antique stores and they are about 35, depending on the vendor, I've seen them as high as $50. Um, and I paid 16 for it, but it's just one of those pieces that, I mean, if I wanted, to use. I could probably clean it up and use it really good, but I have one, so I won't. But it is an old vintage um, nut or just, you know, you smash up things. Um, I loved it. I thought it's got the red. I did pay, I'm almost embarrassed to say, but I did pay $16 for this. Um, but I've seen them for so much higher and I just, you know, that was even a lot to pay, so I wasn't going to pay much more. Okay, I grabbed this, and I think that this is an old cigar box. I'm not 100% sure. It's got the three Americas on it. The lid has come completely off. And um, the exposition of 1892, it is literally <coughs> falling apart. But you can see there's flags up there. The, the people. There is... Um, some remnants of some, I don't know, like paper decor that they had on the box. Um, the writing is so like faded, but I can barely make out cigars. So this was a cigar box. Um, but I just thought that it would be super cool to put in a, you know, an old vignette. Um, again, I probably won't use this until like um, the summer, next summer because of the red, white, and blue. So I thought that was really cool. It's got to be old. I wish I could find a year on it, but um, I've not had any luck. Okay, so y'all know I love my boxes. I don't know why I love old boxes so much, but I do. And so I grabbed this one. It was in the garage and it was a blueberry, a down east fancy grade blueberry box is what it says. So, I don't know how well I'm doing. I can't see. I was very excited to get this. They had the larger, larger like box boxes and they were anywhere between 40 and $60. Now I do some crazy stuff, but I'm just not gonna pay that for a box. You know, that that's kind of crazy. Um, 
but this is a great size. It'll be cute in a vignette. I'm actually thinking about doing a couple of things. Because there's blueberries on it, I may save it and use it as a part of a tablescape for next summer, um, which is more than likely what I'm gonna do. But I'm sorry, I know y'all are hearing noises. That's um, upstairs, my daughter coming in out of her room and Lucy. Lucy will chase the cats. I think she really thinks she's wanting to play. I don't think she's being vicious, but she just, you know, she likes to chase the cats. And sometimes um, Hazel Grace will just turn around and smack her. She's like, leave me alone. But anyway, uh, so you may not see this out. Um, it would also be great to flip over and just kind of use as a riser or to put things in it. But y'all have seen some of my home tours and you're probably thinking, please do not put books and plates in it. So more than likely this will be packed away in my little stash and I will pull it out next summer with the blueberries and the, you know, if I do strawberries again. Okay, now the last thing that I bought at that estate sale um, was really sort of out of necessity. <laughs> I was in the basement and my hands were full. Greg was off, we separate, we always separate so that we can, you know, kind of conquer and divide. And I needed something to put all my stuff in. And I could barely reach this, but I was able to grab this enamel bucket with the red trim. Now, the funny thing is I had wanted, been wanting some of this. Um, and so what I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to put a Christmas tree in it and put it on my front porch. I have another one, an old uh, diaper pail that's just like this. Uh, so I'm gonna just put them together, kind of, you know, stagger their size, their heights. And you'll see these on my front porch for Christmas. So that is all that I got from that estate sale. And now I'm gonna show you the things that I got at the second estate sale. Okay, so the second estate sale, um, the first one was in Nashville and the second one we went to was in Brentwood and it started at 10. So if you're from around here, you know that was about a 30 minute drive. Um, if you're not from around here, it's just a different, it's a smaller area outside of Nashville. So um, that was the one that Greg wanted to go to. And it turned out to be a really good one. It is another one that um, we've been, I haven't been with Greg's been to one of their sales and they really kind of price their stuff to sell. I mean, some things are high and you're gonna find that at any estate sale, um, but their prices were pretty good. I was a little impressed. Now this one, I've never been to one like this. The house was actually bigger than the house that we had just left, but they were limiting the amount of people that they let in. So we got there at about 10, 20, the sale started at 10. Um, and we had to wait at least 30 minutes before we, our turn to go into the house. Um, the house was packed though, um, not as hard to shop as the other house was. Um, I didn't get some of the things I wanted and that's okay because there were things there that were not pictured, which is kind of that way at every estate sale. So I'm just gonna start off with what absolutely made my day was this beautiful patinaed little crack. I don't mind the cracks. I love the cracks. Ironstone pitcher, y'all. When I tell you that I about just squealed when I saw this and nobody had even, it didn't look like anybody even looked at it. I actually broke something trying to get this. I didn't even see the other thing. And I paid for it, of course. I mean, they have a policy, you have to. But it was only a dollar, but still. Um, I, this just, this made my day. If I hadn't gotten anything all day, this would have made my day. So I'm not really sure where I'm gonna put this. Um, I uh, don't wanna mess up, mess up the balance I have on that uh, ironstone wall with the, you know, the colors and the sizes and everything matching, but she will have a special home. She was made um, in East Liverpool and she is D by the company or D.E. McNichol. So love, love, love this. It was $10. If you are an Ironstone fan, you know that I practically stole this. Um, you cannot find a picture on eBay, Macari, um, what's the other one, Poshmark, an antique store. The cheapest one I've ever seen at an antique store was $35 that was stamped ironstone. 
if they had, and depending on the vendor, um, if they had any patina to it, you were looking at 100, $125, $200. Um, totally out of my tax bracket. I was never going to be able to get anything like that. I do have one that I got for $28. Um, and I think that was a fluke. I don't really know if, how that happened, but I have never seen one in that price range ever, ever again. So while some of you may think well, $10 is kind of high, if you're in the market for Ironstone, you know that I felt like I was stealing it from them. Which the second thing I got, now mind you, again, Greg and I split. So I am like filling my, and I never, I'm never prepared. I never have bags in the car. There's Hazel Grace making an appearance. Um, you know, just, I don't know. I just don't think, I guess. And so I'm just loaded up, but I got used two fingers and got this up. Now this is not ironstone. It is actually porcelain. And I didn't know that porcelain would patina like this, but I don't care. I love it. I got for $3, this beautiful, patinaed platter. I mean, it's gorgeous. I don't even think you can see how big it is. Um, there's no chips. There are a few little like cracks, but it's just kind of in that, that crazen. Um, I did, I could tell when I got home that some of these markings, this was probably trimmed in like gold or silver or something. Um, I don't know. I just, I love it for $3. Are you kidding? Like in the history that would come with this, there's no telling how many turkeys that sat on this or how many roasts with carrots and potatoes. Like, um, and that, that's, you know, I guess I'm a little weird, but when I get pieces like this, I just can't help but wonder, you know, all the stories that, that they could tell us. So I was excited to get this. Um, I'm not sure. I don't want to take apart my gallery wall, but, um, I will find a very special home for this platter. Just don't know where. And when it's three dollars, you don't have to know where. You just you just get it. Now another thing that I grabbed at that particular one, um, if you saw one of my, I don't know the, I don't know it was one weekend that Greg and I went around again. I had gotten the um, what is it? Betty, the Better Homes cookbooks. So I grabbed another one because it was a dollar. Have you guys ever priced these? If you are ones that like to go to shops, have you ever priced these to, I mean, first of all, that's cheaper in Goodwill. And um, they can be, I've seen them for $12 up to $22 in um, antique stores. So I did grab one more. I'm not gonna get any more. But that's a dollar, and I um, have them, you know, really cute in a basket where I have solid blue. And then that is Hazel Grace. She just gets into everything. She's trying to play with the cord. So let me adjust. I'm sorry. Anyway, um, don't you just love your fur babies? They're so amazing, especially when they're actually baby babies. Gotta love them. So anyway, this will be going up soon. All of these cookbooks, all of my blue and red is gonna, I'm gonna be working on putting it up at the end of August. I know that technically we're not in fall until September. Um, I am not one, I don't decorate for fall early, um, but I will pack up my summer things prior to, um, I may even, I, I know I said the end of August, I really mean kind of like the first of August just so that I have a little bit of calm before all of the seasonal um, fall decorations come out. Okay, now I was not expecting to get this. I have seen these um, and they are all over the place in price range. Um, this one is very old, very, uh, you know, part of it's, the words are off and it's all kind of rusty and crusty. So you guys know I love it. It's got some, masking tape here that I'm going to see if I can get off. Um, that may have to soak to try to get it off, but this was on a table marked a dollar. Now it wasn't priced. So when I did go to check out the lady, um, said, Oh, that's kind of a mistake. It's supposed to be $3. So 
there was so many people behind me and I didn't want to debate it. It was $3. So I did go ahead and get it. I think what I'm going to plan on do, um, again, with the colors, it'll be like a next summer thing that you'll see. But I may try to put like all of my little um, tins and things together on top of one of my kitchen cabinets. I think I could probably make some kind of cute little vignette, except for the coffee one, but um, can make that look really cute somehow. So I don't know. We'll see next summer what I end up um, actually doing with these things. Now, I know I told you guys that I really don't care for vintage Christmas items, and that hasn't changed. I, I don't. Um, I did look for shiny brights all day today, hoping that I might find some, and I did actually find some shiny brights, but they're very expensive. Um, but I did find, I love Santa. I love all kind of Santas. And while this one is vintage and um, it's from, it was made in 1986 by Heirloom, the Heirloom Company, or the Heirloom Tradition, sorry. I thought that he was a pretty cute little Santa. And he was only three bucks. So I grabbed him, he's got a little bag and he can sit, you know, somewhere. I don't know where, but he'll be cute. And I'm gonna try to add just a few pieces of vintage into my Christmas. So we'll see how that works out. Cause I, all, cause I also got um, a cute little Santa boot. And I don't know what I'll put, something will probably greenery, knowing me. Um, Something will come out of him and he'll be sitting somewhere, but that was cute. And I've always kind of liked the Santa boots. There's no marking on it or anything. Um, so, you know, I don't know anything about it, but I thought he was cute. Now I already had one of these sets, but um, I sort of think that, I'm not 100% sure, but I think that this has the owner, the lady's initials on it. And it was in the bathroom. And again, it was marked a dollar, a dollar a piece. Um, and I paid a dollar 99 for my last set. So they were a dollar a piece. So I grabbed these because I had um, moved the one set that I had to another location. And I wanted to put these back in my bathroom. And I know how incredibly expensive these are in antique stores. So I grabbed another vanity or hairbrush and mirror set. Um, you can kind of see how old the, the, you know, it's dirty too, but how old the, the mirror is. Now, when I got up there, the lady said, oh, that, that's another mistake. I can't sell those for a dollar a piece. So she sold them for five a piece and I started not to get them. Um, because I know at, you know, thrift stores, I have found the one set. Um, and you know, Greg was like, if you want them, get them because, I, today I saw a set, now I've seen them for as low as 45, but today I saw a set for $185 just for the two pieces. Um, not that I'm gonna sell them or anything like that. And I may not, I cleaned up my other set. I don't know for sure if I'll clean this up and polish it, but um, I don't know, I went ahead and grabbed it. I felt like, um, Cause she was a painter as well. So I grabbed one of her pictures and I thought that it might be kind of cool cause it's had her initials on it. So we'll see. Now I also got this crock. Um, it was in the kitchen and it was full of utensils and I've been looking for a crock to put my utensils in. I also um, am looking for a crock that has this stamp on it with the number four. I've only found one and it was a little bit out of my price range. This was not marked and I don't remember, she was shocked that it wasn't marked and I don't remember if she sold it to me for $5, about maybe $5, I'm not really sure. But um, it's got a date on it, but I can't make it out. But I love Crocs and I thought this would be cool to use. I probably might use it for the exact same thing they had it for, for utensils. Now for the thing that I broke getting my lamp, my not my lamp, but my um, pitcher was this little, I don't even know what it is. It's, it's like a little iron, I think, but 
It's not a salt and pepper shaker, so I'm not really sure, but I broke the handle off. And it was sitting like, they had two of them sitting right in front of the pitcher on a shelf. I didn't even see them. All I saw was the pitcher. And so when I got the pitcher off, it fell and it broke. And, um, you know, I didn't want to not take ownership of it. So I have a broken little iron for a dog. Now, she was a painter. And there were lots of um, painted canvases in the attic and all, all throughout the house. And so I always like to change out a lot of my artwork for the season. And I grabbed this, um, it was $5. I don't like the frame, I'll do something else about the frame. Or I may just even take it out and just frame the canvas, like on, not frame it, but like style it on a shelf. But it's just a cute little winter scene. And so I thought that would be great. I won't use this for Christmas, but I'll put it, pull it out after um, I get all my Christmas stuff put up and I like to keep things cozy. Greg grabbed this one and um, this was one of her paintings and it has, we're gonna pretend that this is a piece of ironstone that she has painted with her fruit. Um, I actually do like the frame, so I'll probably just clean this up and keep it just like it is um and we'll work it into the kitchen somehow but he saw this first and i was like yeah I, that's sorry that's an animal trying to get in here i have the gates closed um very excited to have this in any kind of signed original artwork you know i don't care if she wasn't famous she spent time on this and um it's it's beautiful and it features some of my favorite things food and ironstone so i couldn't go wrong with that now this was a picture that, um, and it's a print, it's not a painting. She didn't do this. I see this all over the place and it's very expensive. Um, I think at the gas lamp that I t talked about in a few videos back, this was like over $200, like maybe 250 or something. Um, and I just love it. It's another one that I'm gonna put out after Christmas. Um, it's a little sad, but it's the, the dog who is trying to get help for, what is that, a baby, a baby lamb. I love that. So, Greg didn't like it, and I didn't care. We're going to put this out, and I just can't wait to be able to use this. Now, I grabbed this little broom out of the garage. It was a dollar. It's a very cute. It's going to hang on a peg rack with the other broom in my hallway. Okay, now, I couldn't believe Y'all, I couldn't believe this was just sitting in this chair. I saw this and I was like, cause you, you know, we could, people had things in the furniture kind of like, okay, this is my spot. And, um, and I, I'm well aware that this is a replica, but it's a pretty awesome replica in my opinion. Um, there was this envelope and it was, uh, four documents of freedom, something they ordered. Um, I don't know if there's a date it says, in 1956 is when this was ordered. They had it for $3. You got this whole envelope full. And like I said, please don't, I know that this is um, replicas, but like this one is the um, Lincoln's dedication of the cemetery on, at Gettysburg. So I thought that was super cool. You know, they use perfect paper for that. You got a copy of the, oh, Congress of the United States. I don't know, I haven't even looked at it, but that's cool. You have the um, Declaration of Independence. Y'all, y'all, I love our country. Um, I'm proud of our country. I know we make mistakes just like everybody else. I know some of us hold us a little bit more accountable for our mistakes than maybe other places do, but it doesn't mean that I don't love our country and I'm not proud of our country. I'm proud to be an American. Um, and so this was like the, just an awesome find for me. Um, this is uh, the Manimus Declaration. Maybe this is Declaration of Independence. Maybe that was something else. I don't know. But y'all, 
So I don't know what exactly I'm gonna do with these. And I realize I sound very uneducated, but I'm like, I don't even know what this is. I don't have my readers on, guys. I don't know what I'm showing y'all. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. I feel like I do a pretty good job of keeping it real. But anyway, this was an exciting find for me. I couldn't believe, first of all, that it was $3. I don't care if it is replicas. It's from 1956. Um, and that nobody had snatched it up. Like, so the lady's like, no, it hasn't sold. And I was like, well, it has now. So I put it in my paw. So that was cool. So now on to the main reason that we even went to the sale. And I know that a lot of you do not like milk glass. Um, it's just not your thing. So, it, you know, please fast forward if you don't want to watch all this because there are several pieces. Some of you have commented how much you love the hobnail milk glass or any kind of milk glass. So the rest of this is I guess you could say Greg's Hall. So I'm gonna show you what all of the Hobnail Fenton milk glass that he got. But first, Hazel Grace wants to say hi because she's attacking my leg. Say hi, Hazel. No, you say hi, say hi. Look, she's not gonna cooperate. Y'all, the bigger she gets, the less she wants mama. Okay, so we have lots of oil lamps, and um, we buy oil lamps that a lot of times that don't have the, the globes. So he got these two, they were $3 a piece, in the hopes that we can find two smaller, which we will be able to, as we see them all the time, um, uh, oil lamps, and we'll put these on there. And I'm probably going to put these in this front room on either side of the end tables. So for $3 for these, that was an amazing find. Okay, this one is clearly marked Fenton. And, um, you know, cause he, he doesn't have any baskets y'all. He doesn't have any baskets, but he uh, grabbed this up. It's the hobnail ruffled edge. And he does have quite a few pieces of this. So he was very excited to get this. All this milk glass, except for the two little pieces that I showed you, they were $3. But all of this was $8 um, a piece. So some of it I thought was really good. Some of it I thought was a little high. But he doesn't tell me that I can't buy things unless it's kind of crazy priced. And, and I don't, do, you know, I do the same. Um, he definitely is our breadwinner if he wants to spend a little bit of money on his milk glass. Who am I to argue? He got this hobnail with the ruffled edge. So he has quite the collection of this. And it, I like the hobnail milk glass. I think it's, well, I like the ruffled edge and I like hobnail anything. So um, I do like this. He got a hobnail compote with a lid. And it's hard to find these with lids. So I was excited that he found this. And the funny thing is, since we didn't go to this one first, and we didn't get in this house until um, probably after 11, he was really afraid that all the milk glass was gonna be gone. Now, I knew that the milk glass was not gonna be gone. I don't think um, milk glass is as popular, you know, as some of the other things. Um, and I kept joking with them as people were coming out when we were in line. I was like, oh, I bet they got all the milk glass. I bet they got all the milk glass. But every single piece that was in the picture was still there. So he was very excited that he got the milk glass. Although he doesn't understand why people don't love it as much as he does. He got, I guess, what would be considered a um, candy jar, maybe. And he had gotten some of this last weekend with this ruffled edge. So um, he's just kind of building up on this little scallop, not ruffled, collection that he has. And then he got this creamer and sugar that matches that scalloped edge um, like the one I just showed you. So that is it, guys. That is our haul for the two estate sales that we went to today. Um, I feel like we did really good. I was very bummed out about that Americana, American Ace coffee can, but you know what? I got some amazing things. Um, we were, uh, it, to me, it's just exciting to get into there. It's very chaotic. It's very rushed. It's almost like, um, oh, it's Black Friday on crack. Uh, you know, these people were at this first estate sale. They were serious. We could tell they were serious. Um, I did have this. I, some of you like my little story, so I will tell you. I did. I wore flip-flops. Um, it's hot on Hades here. And the stairs were very narrow, steep awful stairs. Like, I don't know what it is with these older houses, but yeah, I bet there were a lot of broke ankles. Um, 
this one older man, I'm not gonna call him a gentleman, but this older man, probably in his late 70s or older, just sort of tore into me because I had on flip flops. <laughs> and because he was an elder, I let him say all of the unnecessary things that he felt like he needed to say. And then I just told him to have a good day and I kept on walking. Um, but I was taking a little bit too long coming down the stairs and I guess he was afraid there was something up there he wasn't gonna get. I don't know, but uh, that is sort of, if you've never been to an estate sale, you might run into some attitudes like that. Like these people, they don't play. They do, especially first day, first, when it first opens on the first day, you are there surrounded by people that mean business and they're not playing with you. Um, they're, you know what, the I will tell you, the lady that was running it came out and stressed that you better be polite, you better be respectful. Um, there was, I saw a, a, like a typed letter on the door. If you're not nice, we will ask you to leave. So I was really glad for that because you all know I've had some experiences at estate sales where people are just absolutely ridiculous. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, a lot of this is not going to be styled. I'm going to be honest. You know, we've talked about a lot of pieces that are going to be put away for seasonal things. I will um, insert some clips of the very few things that are going to be styled. And I took some um, video and pictures of my front yard because the crepe myrtles and the limelight hydrangeas are just absolutely showing out beautiful and a little bit of how I have my front porch styled. So I'm going to throw all that in there together and um, hopefully you all enjoy seeing those pictures. Now I do want to give you kind of a heads up. I had said this a minute ago. I am not one. I don't decorate early for fall. I know that a lot of times when you watch people on YouTube, you watch them to get ideas and I apologize for that, but it is just it is too hot. I just, I just can't do it. I can't have it 100 degrees outside and I have pumpkins in my house. Now, that's just one thing I've always had a hard time with. Um, fall, and I don't keep fall up that long. I will decorate for fall in September. And y'all, it comes down around the 1st of October. The reason being is if you have taken the time and gone back and watched any of my other videos, Christmas is no joke around here. Um... I uh, had toyed with not really decorating much at all for Christmas this year because we've gotten into all this vintage and antique stuff, but I just can't let people down, especially, you know, my family, I host it, and the kids and the adults, they look forward to coming up here. I host parties here, um, not trying to, you know, be boastful, but we are just known for our over-the-top Christmas. So... I hope that you continue to watch. I hope that you stay with me. There'll be plenty of lots more thrifting and hauls and things. I'm just, you know, I, I want to be upfront that as far as Christmas goes, there's not going to be hardly any vintage. So if that's the only thing that you, you know, you, you're more into the vintage and the antiques, um, first of all, I can't afford it. Uh, the, the vintage Christmas is astronomical. Um, we do have a few, you know, decent amount of vintage fall though. So I think that you will like that, but just, um, you know, just give us a try. Keep watching. I, if you just love Christmas in general, regardless of the genre of your decor, you're going to love Christmas here. We, uh, it is our favorite time of year. So please stay tuned for that. If you're liking these videos, please, please like and share. Um, if you have not yet subscribe, subscribe, please do so. The more we grow this little channel, the more I'll be able to do and share with you all. Um, and so, you know, that's going to just kind of wrap it up. I'm going to end this video here, insert the clips and you guys have a great rest of your week. See y'all in the next one. Bye y'all.
Hey y'all, so just wanted to let you know, you've probably already noticed, there's not many things styled like I said I was gonna insert. I did um, switch out the pictures, put my old um, ironstone picture that I got that I was so excited in that basket in with the painting and the, the greenery. Um, and one thing I did not tell y'all about, last weekend we went to Pigeon Forge in Gatlinburg and we stopped at a flea market. I did not film, or I didn't even take family pictures. I just very much unplugged last weekend. But while we were at the flea market, y'all, I had given up even finding this piece. Um, just wasn't even something I thought was gonna happen. But I was walking past, you know, the vendors just kind of looking. Um, and the lid caught my eye, y'all. I got the Liberty Blue teapot for $20. Now, if you're a Liberty Blue fan, you probably just fell off your chair. Um, so I was so excited to get that. I snatched that up and I did put it on the buffet. I don't know if that's where it's going to stay, but for right now, that's where it is. Uh, and I guess you saw on my outside ladder, I put up my little broom. So when I started to start styling this stuff, I realized more of it was for, you know, um, seasonal times than what I realized. So much of the things I bought at that estate sale was for the 4th of July. Um, and then there were Christmas things and my really large platter that I got. I haven't styled it yet. It, I may um, put it above my kitchen cabinets, but I have to have hubby to do that. So whenever that finds a home, I'll definitely show you. Um, but also some of the, uh, the almanacs, the really old almanacs that I bought, I want to use for fall. So that was really about all that I was able to style y'all. And plus my house is an absolute disaster. It is crunch time for me in every way. I have all my finals next week. I have one more week off before I start back to work. Um, getting all the doctor's appointments and things in. And so Y'all, my house is a mess. Just like how my hair and everything is a mess. It is hotter than blue blazes out here today. I think our heat index is like 105. So I didn't even straighten my hair at all. Um, just, you know, it is what it is. But anyway, I wanted to go ahead and post this video so y'all could see all the fun estate sale finds that I had. And today is Friday. So I hope you guys have a great weekend and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye y'all.